Hey, Christian Caveman back here uh, with this rusty old knife. That navel jelly did really good, getting most of that off. There's a little bit right there, and there's a little bit of buildup of uh, uh, some black rust in there, but you can tell there's a little bit of red mixed. But I think we're good <clears throat> with the navel jelly. I'm going to take some, uh, let's see if I got it here, some <clears throat> wet dry sand and uh, go over it and uh, sand it all down a little bit. Uh, this doesn't matter so much on the grain, but I'm going to go with the whole length of the knife on everything and I am running three or uh, I believe 220 first and just knock that down a little bit you can use a a wheel on this uh, which would be really quick just knock it down a little bit you can kind of see that red right there that's the nasty stuff you want gone the dark stuff uh, not so much but I want to get it good and flat fairly smooth uh, a little bit of porous on the handle isn't so bad because I'm gonna end up putting epoxy on it so I'm gonna want it a little bit rough so it actually adheres better when I put, you know, not divity, <laughs> still smooth, but uh, so those uh, wood skins will hold on when I epoxy them. And then we'll, you know, everything will be drilled for our uh, pins, uh, whether I'm going to use pivot stuff or uh, I'll probably use... Well, I don't know. I want to kind of do something with uh, the carve into the wood skins, like uh, the back end, the base of uh, shells, probably like 30 odd six or something even smaller on the end of these for caps, just inside the wood. But I'll use brass pins. Uh, anyways, uh, they hold better and it doesn't rot out. Uh, you can see that tint of red in there. But I'm going to go over the whole thing with this uh, 220. Definitely going in one direction on this, just nice and soft. And uh, knock the rest of that down. It's getting on a zoom here and then I will go over this down here with quadruple well yeah I, I double steel wool and then probably quadruple to really buff it out but that'll be at the end <clears throat> another thing I wanted to talk about is not so much this top side because I could kind of sand that down a little bit. <clears throat> but how those nicks overlap onto the blade side. <clears throat> I'm going to take a file and just go even. And this is a worn out one. So I'm not digging in too much. Uh, I like to use it because it's just for little bits and pieces. I'm going to file down along this side right along here and knock those burrs down so this blade parts flat I mean there's just enough sticking out right along there and I'm not too worried about the top I mean you can just sand that down a little bit and it won't be you know no big deal and I don't mind those nicks like I said that's the scars of the knife, you know, gives it the character and uh, everything will kind of be sealed up when you polish her up a little bit. 
with that uh, uh, quadruple steel wool, but I'm just going to knock that down flat with the blade, not trying to scratch anything over here, but just knock that down just a little bit. Um, and then I will probably do the same thing right down here. I'll probably file this so it's more straight across right there. Because when these blades were made, uh, when people sharpen them, they end up digging in right from the start right here, and it always gets this dip. Well, I want more of a straight edge on this first part. So from about right here, at least knock some of that down just a little bit. And my wood handle will probably overlap and come out maybe just a little bit of a finger groove here uh, usually a lot of kitchen knives and knives like this don't have guards and the reason being is you're not trying to stick something and you're not apt to slide with it you're you're holding on to it and you're cutting away so not that if you accidentally slip and bump it into something and you got these things sharp like they should be, uh, it'll it'll cut you bad. Yeah, down to the bone, tendons, whatever, in the way. So, got to be careful of that. But that's kind of the plan. First, I'll get that sanded down a little with that um, 220. And it'll hopefully just knock this red off. And keep that old patina on a lot of that. And you'll see the difference. I mean, see where that came out with that uh, that navel jelly. And it'll knock some of that off. You can see some of that orange in there. Yeah. Right there, that little chunk. And even if I had a, maybe a, Took my grinder and just zapped across there. Uh, can't find my buffing wheel, but even just a writing little grinder, just buzz that just a little bit to knock it off. I might do that, but mostly just sand back and forth. Straight with this, just to kind of get the next level done. Here is all we're working on. And then I'll file down along here. Just, it won't take much, just there's just a little rough if you come across this way and it's just overlapping so that's what I'm going to hit on next and I will show you in the next video thanks for watching Christian Caveman out hit that like button